Welcome to Mechanical Tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like part modeling, surface modeling, sheet metal enclosure design, plastic components design, product design, reverse engineering, simulation and many more tips and tricks in solid works. Hi, today I am going to explain how to create L bracket with edge flange on curved edge. So left side you can see the folded state of the component, right side the flat pattern. So this is the component I am going to create. See here before 2021 version of SOLIDWORKS, the edge flange on a curved surface like this is not possible. So it has to be done with only sweep. Now this feature has been added in this edge flange. So I am going to show you with this example. So let's start now. I have taken a new SOLIDWORKS part file. Select the front plane. Select the center point rectangle. It is 140. And this is 30. Select the base flange. So here I have taken 1 mm and k factors 0.545. Now I am going to create edge flange. So we have to make sure that flange position material inside. This is 30 mm. come out of this sketch. See this flange. So we have to add fillets. So we are going to add these fillets inside the flange itself. So I am going to sketch fill add sketch fillet and this is 5 mm. And say okay. So now I am going to add this edge flange on a curved surface. So select the edge flange. So we have to select each and every edge. So in earlier version we used to create with a sweep. See here. Say okay. So flange height is ten mm. So let's see we, whether we can make the flat pattern or not. So it is possible. So 
so now i am going to create this cutouts so we have to unfold this so select the unfold command select this face collect all bends say okay and select this flat face and uh, draw a center point rectangle fillet is 5 mm so add extruded cut we have to link to thickness and it should be always normal cut now select this sketch and select this polygon take three sides and place it here so we have to draw a triangle equilateral triangle so this is a reference triangle so we are going to make it into construction so this is a 3 mm this is 34.5 so it is 45 so we have to draw as a reference page so this is 12 mm and we have to make it horizontal select this and make it horizontal so it automatically constrains so this is the reference page now i am going to create holes so before that i am going to draw one same sketch reference so here we have to draw one corner rectangle so this is also as a reference and make it into construction So this is uh, 36 18 28 select this line right click select the midpoint and select this origin with control button and make it horizontal so it is constrained now so taken the two sketches as a reference now i am going to create a simple hole select this face and simply come out of this sketch and uh, go to sketch and modify this so the hole diameter is so 4 mm so we have to do this it should be diameter so this is 4 mm and place it over here so it is constrained now now similarly draw circles uh, at this points all the corners now select all these 
circles along with this circle and make it equal. So, equal constraint is applied. See, now come out of this sketch. See here. Now we can hide this sketch. This is for reference. See, holes have been created now. Now I am going to draw this slot, create this slot, select this face, go to extrude. So, we have to draw one sketch here. So, select these offset entities. So, this is uh, 2 mm offset. See, we have to select individual circles. So, this is 2 mm. Now, draw one line from this midpoint. and connecting this point and this time so we have to draw from this point that should be tangent so we should be cautious while creating it is tangent, so we have to make it tangent. So we have to make this horizontal, so we have to draw. from this center. See, and we have to trim this outer line. So, we have to trim outer side. Now, we have to add dimension. So, this is uh, 30. See, this is uh, not symmetric. So, we have to make equal. So, now it is fully constrained. Now, we have to add the sketch to this corners, fillet to this corner. So, this is uh, 2 mm. So, we have to add to each corner. See here, it is selecting the so there is a open sketch. So, in this condition, what we have to do is we have to delete this, draw one line joining these two points to avoid such problems. This is uh, eighteen. C 
see here. So now we have to apply tangency at this both the left. See, it is clear now. Now we have to apply fillet. So these uh, kind of errors are common. So we have to be very much cautious and select extruded cut. We have to link to thickness and normal cut. See here. Now I am going to create circular cutout. See this circular cutout. Select this face. Select extruded cut. Select three point arc slot. So draw from here. Sorry. So we have to draw from here. Sorry. So select this and this make it horizontal. So so that it should be symmetric. Select this make it horizontal select this and this make it horizontal now we have to mention the distance between these two that is 4 mm and here to here it's 18 And the distance between this point and this point is 15 and this point and the center of this arc is 75. So the sketch is fully constrained now. So we have to go to sheet metal extruded cut. So link to thickness normal cut out. So now we have to fold this. Select the fold command, collect all bands and say OK. See, component is ready. Here instead of sweep we have used HG flange in this component. This is uh, one of the best feature added in SOLIDWORKS 2021. So this is brief about L bracket with edge flange on curved edge. Thanks for watching.